This is the teardown for the HP Chromebook G4 Education Edition. This is the 11 inch. For this teardown, you will need an iSesimo or some other metal prying tool, a number one screwdriver, a double zero screwdriver, these are both Phillips, and a pair of tweezers with a sharp point. The first step in the teardown of the HP G4 is to remove the covers over the lowercase screws. There are nine of these. Using the sharp point on your tweezers, gently poke into these rubber gaskets and pull up. Make sure that you put these on your mat in order as they are all of different shapes. Throughout this entire teardown, try and keep organization on your mat. Keep the same shape the items came off. The second step of the teardown of the HP G4 is to remove all of the bottom screws. There are nine of them, and they are of varying sizes, so make sure you do not mix them up. Make sure that they do get in order on your mat. This will be done using the number two screwdriver and a pair of tweezers to pull them out once they've been removed. You will need a little bit of pressure on top of the screwdriver with this screwdriver so you don't strip the head of the screw. Once you have all of the lowercase screws out, go ahead and flip the computer over and open it all the way. From here we'll be removing the keyboard bezel and to do this we'll be using the Isesimo or metal spudger. To do this you'll take the tip of the spudger and there's a line running all the way down the edge of the keyboard bezel. You're going to push it down into the edge and you're going to pry it upward until you hear clicks. You're going to do this all the way around there are clips holding this keyboard bezel down and this just deactivates the clips. Once the clips have been undone, you can get under the edge with your fingers and just pull up carefully. You'll just hear it pop. There are a couple more clips in the center that do need released. And from there, you can kind of drag it all the way back and you'll see a connector right here. This is your keyboard and a connector right here. These are alligator connectors. So just closes down, you can get your finger up underneath them and pull them up and then draw them both out. And that is your keyboard bezel. 
Once you have your keyboard bezel removed, you're ready to remove your battery. Always remove your battery at the first chance you get so you do not short out the device. On this particular model, this is the battery and the connector is right here on the board. To remove the connector on each side, just use your fingernails and get into these little notches and draw it back and it will come, come out very easily. Once you have that disconnected, take your screwdriver, and there's a screw here and here. Go ahead and remove those screws. Now once you're done with these screws, you're ready to use your Isesmo to release the clips that are here and here. So just take the Isesmo just under the clip and pry towards the back of the computer. Do this for both clips. Maybe. Okay. And once both those clips are removed, just pull up on the battery and the battery will remove from the device. Once you have your battery removed, you're ready to remove your Wi-Fi antenna, which is this right here. To remove your Wi-Fi antenna, first you're going to detach these coaxial connectors just by pulling up on them gently. Once they're connected, you're ready to remove the single screw that holds in the Wi-Fi card. Once the screw is out of your Wi-Fi card, grasp it on either side and pull towards the side of the computer and this will remove easily. Once your Wi-Fi card has been removed from the computer, it's time to take out the motherboard. This is done with four screws. Each of these screws is marked by a white triangle. This means that that screw holds the computer or the motherboard down. Before we remove those screws, let's go ahead and disconnect the alligator clamp for the card reader, the alligator clamp for the LCD, the connector for the DC jack and the connector for the speaker assembly. Once all your connectors are removed, go ahead and take out the four screws. Now that all the screws have been removed from the motherboard, grasp the end of the motherboard and lift upwards, and then pull towards your hand. And that is the removal of the motherboard. Once your MOBO has been removed from your computer, it's time to take out the, the card reader. There are two screws holding in the card reader, both indicated by white triangles. Go ahead and take these screws out. And then grasp both sides of the board right here and pull towards the center of the computer. And your card reader lifts out. Once you've removed your card reader, it's time to remove your DC jack. This is done using the iSesimo tool or any sp spudger. What you're going to do is right here there's a clip holding it in. Push this down until you feel the clip give. And then pry up on the DC jack. Once you have the DC jack out, you can deroute the cable from all the clips on the case. 
and the DC jack should lift out. Once you've removed your DC jack, it is time to remove your speaker assembly. This is routed along the entire front side of the lower case. Um, before we do get this taken out, we need to go ahead and deroute this cable right here. It's just hooked under these hooks. Go ahead and deroute it. Just kind of pull it out to the side. To remove the speaker assembly, all you're going to need is your isesimo. Um, the isesimo is going to be used to remove a clip here, 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 and here. And to do this, all you're going to do, um, it helps us start in the middle because you may not have to actually do the end one, is to take your SSMO, get it underneath the clip, and then pry towards the face of the computer. And just do that on both sides. Now if you grasp this end, you should just be able to twist and it will come right out. Now there is a very thin cable routed in between the two speakers. Make sure you deroute that and don't tear it. And then same with this, just turn it and it should pop right out. And that is your speaker assembly. Once you've removed your speaker assembly, it's time to remove the LCD from the lower case. To do this, you're going to need to take the single screw out of each side of the hinges. Once you have those screws out, you need to deroute the LCD cable and the Wi-Fi antenna cables. They are just held down underneath clips and they should just weave out. You can put that up on top of the LCD. Once you have that done, you're ready to pull the LCD back towards you and start to close the device. From here, you can kind of rock it back and get the hinges out of the lower case. And that is how to take the lower case off. Once you have the LCD assembly removed from the lower case, it's time to take off the LCD bezel. In order to do this, you'll need your ISSMO. You'll be using it to take off covers that are over screws in the bottom right and bottom left corner. All you'll do is you'll take your ISSMO and dig just barely under a plastic cover and just slide it all the way across until it comes off. I'm going to do this on both sides. Once those are out, it exposes two Phillips head screws. Using your double zero, go ahead and remove those. And once those screws are removed, you are ready to use your ISSMO again to pry the LCD bezel off. And in order to do this, you're going to take it from the edge, stick it in this little groove that's cut into it, and pry upward. And you'll just do this all the way around. And once you get to a certain point, you can get your finger under the inside and just slide it across and this will get the rest of these clips broken loose. And there's your LCD bezel. Once you have your LCD bezel off, this exposes these screws on your LCD. There are four of them. They are black. Go ahead and remove those with your double zero screwdriver. These are connected to the hinges. Once you have the four screws removed, you can just grab the LCD from the top and lift it out.
you're going to want to just lay it over and this will expose the LCD cable which is hooked up right here. For this you will need your iSesimo. You're going to take your iSesimo and there's a piece of tape right here holding down the LCD connector. Just run your iSesimo just up under the tape and just pry that tape back enough to get a hold of it. Then pry the tape up until you expose the connector. Once that connector is exposed you can just grab it and pull back and that is how you disconnect the LCD. Once you have disconnected it the LCD is free to be removed from the device.